How's everybody doing? My name is Kelly. Welcome to Solution Seekers. Um, it's Sunday. I hope everybody's having a marvelous weekend. Um, I just really quick here, I wanted to chime in on, on my last video. You know, uncertainty is always a question in 2020. And prior to 2020, I always thought it was going to be a process. Um, but 2020, I just... Out of a lot of the conversations I've been having with myself, with other people, with a lot of my Uber passengers, and, you know, everything is just about perspective, you know. Um, I have some ongoing, um, well, for the last two years, I've had some spinal issues, and then the last few months, I have other health issues popping up, and you know what? Man, there's just some mornings I just really wish I didn't wake up. But when, when I have the ability to wake up, that's where my gratitude starts for the day because just think if I never had, I didn't have the ability to wake up. And so many people are going through that. So that's one of the reasons I'm always just trying to harp in on, man, life is to be celebrated no matter what happens. Because I mean, like, let's be honest, we got we got this asshole president um, after that debacle of the debate now he has COVID. Whether it's true or not, it really doesn't matter to me. I wish no ill will on nobody else. I, me personally, I can't do that. I may not like the element or the character defects within somebody, but you know what? That, that has more to say about how I view myself and my viewpoints. And, and I'm just like saying, you know what? Everybody is faulty to a great degree. We're all human beings. And, you know, um, I don't hate anybody. I don't want to see anybody die. You know, I can't I can't celebrate and appreciate life if I don't wish the same thing for each and everybody. There are no color lines, there's no culture lines with me. There's just a people line and I'm just trying to not trying to. I'm living with the within the the perspective of man, let's celebrate life. Let's see if we can step outside of ourselves and do something for somebody else. You know, I know these are some these are some hard times because a lot a lot of us don't have the money that we used to have or or the opportunity or access to resources. But you know, at the end of the day, if if we have the ability to wake up, we have one of the greatest resources that we actually have, and that's a, the gift of another day of life. And you know, and I like to think that um, no matter what happens, I just have to protect my joy and protect my happiness and try to celebrate each day, even in the face of adversity, opposition, through the stages and phases of life. And that's my, that's the, my, I guess that's the only thing I really got left. And I, I'm trying to freely give it away to all the people I come in contact with. Like right now, I'm outside of my favorite grocery store and I got this from one of the ladies that works in there. So, you know, look at that. Triple chocolate fudge brownies with with um, cheese, cream cheese frosting, a chocolate swirl on top with mince um, Reese cups. That's what. That's just what I try to do. I don't try to talk about it. I just try to be about it to the to the best of my ability. And I know that I kind of I rub off people the wrong way. But you know, at the end of the day, I think that I do more good than bad. And you know, I don't think I know that I do that. And I'm not perfect by no means. But I just want to see everybody uh, thrive in this crisis that we're we're in. Because for that, I've been saying this since March. We are definitely in this together but only if we choose to be. You know, be the change that you want to see in the world because if not now, then when? If not, if not you, then who? Thanks, thanks for listening. Have a great day.